Now, this is interesting. Do y'all really think that a cheater can change? Or, you know, as the saying goes, can a leopard really change his spots? Is Sheree really foolish for dating Mortel? Or will he actually change for her? You know, she old and cold, so maybe she got that snappy nappy dugout that make him reconsider. Well, surprisingly, there is a cure for cheaters. Because you know, I did my research and found out that. Yes, there is a drug out there to cure cheating. Professors in Japan have found a cure. It's called minocycline. And supposedly, it's supposed to tame the desires of men. So they're less likely to go astray and be led astray by an attractive woman. Now, what y'all think about that? <laughs> no, but seriously, I know I'm super late talking about this, but I had to give Mama D her flowers for virtually calling Sheree out as she did on a post on Instagram when she seen that Sheree and Martel was dating. So Mama D said, Sheree, if you read this, coming out of dating the person in prison and dating the man that cheats on his wife is not a good decision. You can come for me if you want to, but you got to wonder about your reasoning. Girl, what are you doing though? Ooh, you go ahead, Mama D. I can't lie. I was happy to see Mama D speak her speech. I'm glad that she was able to sing it on the mountaintop, say what she need to say and say, like, bring on the smoke. Like, I'm here for it. And Sheree did decide to clap back. Because honestly, what Mama D was saying just kind of reminds me of, you know, how in the Bible it says that older women are to teach the younger women. And I kind of feel like that was this whole moment for Mama D calling Sheree out or maybe not even calling her out, but maybe helping her you know, put a mirror in her face kind of thing so Sheree can possibly change on her own. Even though I know that Sheree doesn't need to be taught. Like, she's a whole grown woman, lady, woman herself. But, so she doesn't really need anybody to tell her to stay away from men like Martel. But I did do some reading from this article titled, Why Women Love a Cheater. Because you know I had to figure this out. What is the whole appeal of a cheater? What's the whole appeal of like the bad guy, the bad boy that, what, what is that all about? Help me understand, you know, because I've been trying to understand people. But the article mentioned that women feel that dating the bad guy makes them more feminine. And I thought that was very interesting because when I think about it, for the most part, when I look at Sheree, she does seem very like uptight, a little cold, like very put together, very, um, I don't want to say strong, but very, you know, you really don't see her break in a way kind of like Phaedra. Like I never seen Phaedra cry on the show, except for when she was crying about her kids, which is understandable, but you know, I just never really seen the real vulnerable soft side of Phaedra either. And I kind of get that vibe from Sheree. Someone's like, you're not going to see me sweat. You're not going to see me at my lowest. Even though Sheree has cried at times, but I don't know, even in her interactions with other ladies, I really never really see a little softer chill side from her, but I could be wrong, but that's just how I'm perceiving her. Even in the way that Sheree speaks is real low and chill and mellow. And I just never seen, I don't know, I just haven't seen other sides of her. But you know who probably did see another side of her? Is that Tyrone? Mm hmm. And sometimes I feel like that'd be it too. Sometimes women can present like this strong face in front of all of us, in front of their friends and whatnot. But behind closed doors, they be all goo goo gaga over their men. Maybe that's the case for Sheree. Not saying anything is wrong with it, but, but sometimes that'd be the case. But anyway, I think I get it now. So maybe she was attracted or decided to date Martel as a way of vicariously expressing her own inner rebel, in a sense, you know? Because honestly, according to this article, I'm learning, as you guys already know, I'm quite sure, when women date men that are kind of like the bad boys or may have a history of cheating, they believe that they got what it takes to tame that man. Mm -hmm. That's what the article noted. <laughs> Though we may think that that woman is foolish for dating a cheater and also a publicly known, well-documented cheater, it's understood that known cheaters can display compelling characteristics to convince women that this time it'll be different. You know, what I did in my past, that's not anymore. And I'm a different man now. I'm a changed man now. I was married then. 
that whole kind of vibe. <laughs> but as counseling psychologist Sally O'Reilly says, charm can be a powerful weapon for the serial cheater. Ooh, I wonder if that's why the Bible says charm is deceitful. Hmm. Interesting. Scandalous. Y'all ever watch Recess? <laughs> Remember the Ashleys, the four Ashleys? Scandalous. Scandalous. Like, that's kind of how I feel about when I just read that. But anyway, um, the article goes on to say serial cheaters tend to appear to be narcissistic. Ooh, and that's what y'all always call her. <laughs> and that's what y'all always say about Martel. So it's just funny that, like, I don't know, like, science is actually backing this whole thing up so serial cheaters tend to appear to be narcissistic thrive on attention and often described as charming she explains interestingly they often present as feminists when in reality their behavior screams misogyny they can be highly skilled manipulators appearing to be high in empathy and associated traits and can so mold themselves to be attractive to a wide variety of women. Isn't that something? I figured as much. I figured as much. I really feel like Martel is not going to have no issue getting another lady. Even though he did what he did. Like, I really feel that way. The article goes on and says more. It says, of course, deep down, the narcissist feels unlovable and worthless. But hopping from relationship to relationship means they do not have to face their insecurities in the long term. Projecting them instead onto their partner before moving on to their next perfect relationship. Dang. Dang. Isn't that so mean? So look, ladies, when men say it's not you, it's me, it, they're actually telling the truth based off of that. Like, so you mean to tell me that you're going to dump your insecurities, your baggage on me before walking out and leaving? Oh, no. So in the interim, we have to avoid these kind of people just to begin with. But um, also another thing that I just wanted to tell you guys, as far as cheating goes, that the article mentioned that there was a study done where they took a group of women and men and they showed like pictures of the opposite sex to the two separate groups and guess what women were wrong in identifying a cheater about 38 percent of the time where men were wrong 77 percent of the time when it came down to identify a woman that cheats based off of looks and the study found out that it's basically because we as women we realize that the traits that we find attractive are most likely attractive to other women and specific traits on a man that we just like, mm -mm, they're going to be a cheater. According to this article says that men that have a strong jawline and pronounced eyebrows. Yeah. Based off of looks, we can kind of see that they, yeah, they probably going to cheat. But other than that, it goes without saying that women attracted to cheaters may have some personal issues within themselves and they actually talked about Halle Berry and this being the case for her so sometimes like women will suffer women who suffer with low self-esteem or abandonment issues brought on by their own father will have will basically engage or date or talk to these kind of men and again psychologist Sally O'Reilly says in my experience, the lower our concept of self-worth, the more vulnerable we are to cheaters. Cheaters will often have left a trail of clues as to their future behavior and less experienced women or women who don't trust themselves will ignore these signs. Mm. That's good. That was really loaded because for one, I do feel as though that's self-worth. You know, definitely make sure you have that in check or whatever definitely make sure you have that in check and you know who you are you know who you are but after that it's the whole red flags like they left the trail of clues as to their behavior and I do sometimes feel as though women when you like somebody like I don't I always come up with uh, that lyric always sticks in my mind when Mary J said when you think you're in love you only see what you want to see you only see what you want to see that is so true you know so i bet you it's been times where something told you like that ain't right i don't like how that sound like i'm not quite sure but as the article just mentioned well as sally mentioned sometimes you doubt yourself and you like no it wasn't like that you think that you tripping but really you're not tripping your woman's intuition be right 
but <laughs> so that brings us back to our original question can a cheater change now according to the experts and the psychologists in this article they believe that it's really up to the cheater mm-hmm it's really up to the cheater to decide if they want to change for the good, if they want to do something about their behavior, because if not, they are not very likely to change. Change is unlikely. So you'll just be getting more of what you got before. But anyway, what do y'all think? Do y'all think cheaters can change? Do y'all think that Martel is going to change for Sheree? Or is this just him going from relationship to relationship? Or do you think that this is simply publicity? You know, they just want to be in the Papa, Papa, Francie. I'm your biggest fan. I want you to tell you love me. Papa, Papa, Francie. No, but seriously, other than that, I will talk to you guys again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. And... Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys again soon.